Hey guys, I'm back with another video and in this video we are going to work with Maui dot and Maui's collection view and in collection view when we select some item it shows the platform a uh, background color kind of thing right in this video I'm going to show you how can we override that behavior right I have this dot and nine dot and Maui app what I have created, I have simply created a models folder and this category model which has these two properties ID and name and I have just this seeding data. Okay, nothing fancy. Now what I'll do, I'll simply go to the main page. On this main page .xaml.cs we can have here or maybe let's not use MVVM for this. We can simply have the normal simple behaviors. What I'll do? Let leave this image, leave this label, and after this label and button, instead of this button, what I'll do here, I'm going to have a collection view, and I'll simply provide a name to this action view only. Okay, in this collection view, collection view dot item template, I'm going to find this item template. This will be a data template. The data type for this is going to be our category model. For this, let me quickly add namespace for that. So XMLNS, let's say models. Here we'll simply have our models name is is here. So this data template. Here we'll say category model. And inside this, we are simply going to have our let's say border. Here we'll say stroke shape equals round rectangle 10. And let's have a margin of 10 and padding of 10. Inside this, I'm going to just have a label with the text of that category name, just name. And we can have a font size of let's say 15 here. And I guess that's all for this collection view. We need to set the items source. For this, we can simply go to the code behind. Here I'll say collection view dot item source equals now this item source is of type enumerable, so it could be anything. Here we'll simply say category model dot get seed category. You can remove this counter click and now let's simply run this application on Android emulator. So I simply run this app and we can see these categories. Okay. Right now there is no selection mode so we can't see anything here. Let's try to set selection mode here be let's say selection mode equal but if we set single try to hot reload and it didn't reload so let's start the restart the application so for single selection you see this background color we have not set it. So this is platform dependent. So this is Android's functionality. Okay. Now this, if our uh, devices or our apps theme is some other color, then it is going to look odd. And here also it is looking very odd. You see, our item has this rounded corners rectangle, but this looks ugly the selection right so in this video i'm going to show you how can we override this behavior. in order to override this b what we can do we can use visual state manager so do let me know in the comment if you guys know about visual state manager it's a very cool thing we can achieve a lot of a customization ui customization using visual state manager and if you don't know about it then also let me know in the comment, I can maybe plan a dedicated video for this. 
So here what we can do, insert this data template. So in data template, we can have only one node. We have this border at top root level uh, element in this data template. So inside this, we can define our visual state manager. Okay. It has visual state groups. Now inside this, we are going to define a visual state group. Inside this, we can define our visual states. Okay. There, we'll define visual state. And now, for this, for this uh, collection view, we have different state. Okay, we have normal state, we have selected state. So for this, what we'll do, we'll use a name. Name is selected. Selected item state basically. Is this selected state? Will state. Okay. Now inside this, we are going to use with the state dot setters. Now this is same as any other uh, styling resource basically. Inside this setter, define setter with property, and the property is going to be this background color. Here we can define any value, whatever value we give it, we can give. Let's say we are having that yellow color, right? maybe some purple kind of color. So this is, you can try this. But saying state names may not be null or empty. Ah, you give this state. Maybe this is oh, maybe because we are already in running state. Uh, yeah, now the error is. Let's run this app and we'll see if it made any difference. We are here. If select now. You see selected state. There is one more problem. We'll fix this, but. Right now, if you see, we can see this background color as purple. And one more thing, if you noticed, we are not having that outside that uh, the, the, this background is not going outside of the boundary of this. Right. That means this background color in Visual State Manager, it is actually just inside the main control. In this case, this is border, the border only. Okay, now second thing right now what is happening here because we have set selected state. So right now let's say this dapper. This is not in selected state, so this is default. That means this visual state did not apply. Now if we if I select it, it got applied. Now if I remove this or maybe select some other, then this state applied to this one. But now this dapper one, this is in unselected state. Right, and for this we didn't define anything. The simplest way would be just define one more visual state, and that is going to be normal state. The name will be normal. Normal means which is not selected the the default. So here we can have whatever uh, state normal state we want to have. So by default, this is white. We are using white, so we can simply have white. Save it. Let's see if hot reload works here. And it looks like it is not working. So let's restart the app and let's see. App is here. Now let's try. Select. And when I'm selecting any other, because we have set selection mode to single, that means only one item can be selected at a time from this collection view. So when we select any new item, uh, existing the previously selected item simply gets deselected. When it gets deselected, then it is in normal state. So this normal styling is getting applied. When we are selecting anyone, then this selected state is getting up. Okay, so this is how we can achieve this. We have light yellow color. 
and let's restart all right so let's see now if i select it i don't know if you can see this this is a very light color maybe let's use some other color one maybe green color all right when we are selecting it so it is showing green color now this looks fine we are able to change the default behavior but there is, there is one issue with this one when i'm selecting this and it is turning to green the text does not come up this entity framework so maybe for this selected one the the item which is selected right now the text should be in white color because on this green color background the white color colored text would be visible right so in this case we have visual state manager which is inside this border so by default all the visual states and these setters are getting applied to border its parent but now we have two options one is we can maybe have the same type of visual state manager for this label or we have one more way we can simply define a name for this label we can say l label x dot name maybe label or this name could be anything or well, let's say category name this name is up to you now for the selected state we can simply have one more property here we have we will have text color but now text color is not a property on border because by default these setters these are inside this border so these are getting applied to border and border does not have text color property so we need to tell that this setter is not for this border this setter is for this label so for this in this setter we can simply define x dot name equals this category name or not sorry x dot name no no we'll say target name this target name is going to be this category name so this setter is going to apply to the target which has name category name this label has this name that means this setter is for this label now now we have this text color property and if you want to be explicit you can simply define that provide this fully qualified name that label dot text color that this text color we are talking about this labels text color and here we'll simply say the text color should be white let's restart all right it is coming up now we can see see so for the selected ones the background is getting changed using this and the text color is getting changed using this set cool and let me show you if we change the selection mode to multiple then also it will work same way you can select multiple items and it will behave same let's go back to single and we are so this is how we can uh, change the default behavior of collection views item selection background color let's quickly see for windows so using this visual state manager it these styles are going to be applied to all the platforms so that means this will be same for windows as well because i'm on my windows machine i can't show you this one mac and ios so you can try have mac and it is here if i select you see same behavior selection color and the text color cool so all right and do let me in the comment if you guys are aware about this visual state manager if not or maybe if you guys want a dedicated video for this visual state manager i can plan a video for this do let me know in the comment all right so that's all for this video Please like this video, share this video, subscribe my channel. I'll be back soon with some other cool video. Till then, bye bye. Happy coding.